Welcome, welcome here in Hollywood Live. We're in 316 Productions, Tom Lofer's boxing show. Amazing night tonight. We're going to have celebrities, beautiful people. We're going to have Dennis B.S. actor here in this show tonight. So follow us because we're really going to have an amazing time here in Hollywood Live with Leila Jankalini. We'll be on the live stream. Guys, we continue here in Hollywood Life and in 360 Productions. We tell them for how about you tonight? Well, it's great to be here back in Hollywood. We got the first fight walking out here tonight. It's a great atmosphere. We got a lot of celebrities coming out. You're out here, Layla. And it's going to be a fantastic night in Hollywood, California. How many shows are you going to do this year with? Well, this is our second show. It's a tremendous response to the second show. We got a lot of celebrities coming out. Besides having you, we have Mario Lopez going to be here. He's going to be sitting in the booth right here. We got Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown. Michael Buffer, the voice of boxing, is going to be here. Uh, Omar Miller from Ballers. It's going to be a great, a great night of fights. Question that everybody has: Is a Canelo and Triple Cheese coming fight? <laughs> We're working on it. We're still negotiating with uh, Golden Boy. I've been. I talked to Eric Gomez today. Um, we're working on it. You know, we, we made some movement on the percentage split, so hopefully we can finalize it as soon as possible. So it's going to be very exciting here. Yeah, I mean, that's the biggest fight in boxing. If there's a way to make it happen, Eric and I are going to try to figure it out. You know, it, it, it's the biggest fight for both guys. It makes sense. So hopefully, hopefully there's a way to make that, make it work. I love it. What Triple G think about it? Well, we know he's not fighting Demerchenko, that's for sure, because uh, the IBF just stripped him today. But uh, again, you know, he want, he's wanted the first fight with Canelo. He wanted the second fight with Canelo. And now he wants to make this fight, uh, hopefully, uh, September 15th. I love it, all these shows that you're doing. And it looks like it's really fall, like everybody's coming to this show. Yeah, no, it's great. It's uh, a great energy out here in Hollywood. And this is the only show where this turns into a Hollywood nightclub. Afterwards, we're going to clear out the seats and it's going to turn into a dance floor. Very high end. I love it. Yeah. Oh, it'll be great. <laughs> and Tom, thank you so much because we're here in the show. And thank you so much. And I continue here with Hollywood Live. Hi, we continue here in Hollywood Live with Javier Sanchez. How are you today here in this amazing show? You know what, we're looking forward to, I have two fights tonight, so we're very happy to be here again at the Avalon. It's a great place to fight. I hear you are the most amazing and strong training. Can you tell me one of your secrets, how you're amazing training? I think that our, our, our training system, uh, we're very military-like, so it's very, uh, we expect dedication and discipline, but I think that, that goes with any kind of profession. You have to have that to be successful. And you train in Triple G. How is experience working with Triple G? Triple G is uh, such a professional that it's a joy really to have him with me. Uh, and he, uh, he instills what he does in the rest of my fighters, so it makes it easier for a trainer. So tell us about Dennis. Are you training Dennis also? Yeah, Dennis Shafikov is one of our fighters. Um, he's fighting the main event tonight. Uh, he's uh, coming off of a loss, but we're trying to build him back up so we can fight for the world title again. Thank you so much, and I wish you the best with the next fight and the coming big fight. Thank you very much, yes. Thank you to Hollywood Live for having me on. Leila, thank you. Thank you so much, and let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. Hi, we continue here in Hollywood Live with Marinche. How are you tonight? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. So tell me a little bit more about being a girl fighter. Tell me what is the consequence and what is the good things about it. 
You know, I mean, it's so awesome to be here because we're going to be seeing some great action tonight with these females coming up. And I mean, I, I've been doing this a long time. I mean, 17 years to be exact, you know. But I'm um, seeing these young girls come up and seeing them get their experience um, in these fights in venues like this. And kudos to Tom Loeffler at 360 Promotions for giving females the platform to be able to perform. You know, when I first started coming up, um, you know, we really, it, it wasn't as available, but it's happening now. So it's, it's great to support these women. I love it. So tell me, what is your next fight? Um, right now I'm in training and um, I do a lot of motivational speaking and I'm working on some commentating and uh, hosting. So I'm always, I'm always in, I'm in training. Oops. So uh, <laughs> I'm in training, but um, you know, we, we don't have a set date yet. I love it. Where we can follow you, Maureen? You can follow me at Maureen underscore Shea on Instagram, Maureen Shea on Facebook and Twitter. And I love my fans. I appreciate the support so much. And um, yeah, thank you. I love everyone. Thank you so much for this interview. And I hope you enjoy your, your show tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. Continue here in Hollywood Life. Now I get next to me, Sergio Mora, amazing boxer. How are you here tonight? I am wonderful. How are you? So, so tell me, guys, what do you think about this amazing show, the 360 production? Well, listen, this is my first time here, but I know Tom Loeffler very well. I love the setup. It's like a nightclub type atmosphere with boxing, beautiful ladies, including yourself. Thank you. And it's a wonderful atmosphere. I love it. So tell me more about you. What's, what's coming? Well, I just fought a month and a half ago against Alfredo Angulo on an on a undercard in Showtime. I won. And now I hear that uh, Chavez Jr. might be my next opponent. So, Chavez, una paliza te voy a dar si peleamos, pero a ver. So, tell me a little bit more about your training. Who is your training right now? Your train. Well, my trainer is Dean Campos. Uh, he trains uh, two other fighters, uh, Sanisa Estrada, who's with Golden Boy. And Art Sakian, who might fight in this event uh, next month. Oh. Um, yeah, hopefully. I'm going to try to get him on. So, uh, yeah, it's just a stable of fighters. Uh, we've been, I've been fighting 18 years professionally. And now they're just going to be the next generation. I love it. Well, now, thank you so much for this interview. We're in the middle of the show right now. So can you tell us where we can follow your Instagram page? The Latin Snake underscore. I love it. Well, thank you so much for the interview. And let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. And we continue here in Hollywood Life. I'm with Morag. How are you today, tonight? Very good, thank you. So tell me, what do you think about 316 Productions boxing show? Uh, I want to congratulate Tom Loeffler because I think this is his third show. Very good fights, good fighters, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. I love it. What is your next fight? My next fight for, for belts, but I don't know date, place. I ready for this information. I hope like late July. What is your favorite fighter? I say before my favorite fighter, it's my friend Gennady Golovkin. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Where we can follow you? Let's follow my page, Instagram, Murat Gassi, and Facebook. That's it. Can you say hi to Hollywood Live watching you right now? Thank you, Hollywood Live. Thank you, and let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. And we continue here in Hollywood Live and 360 Productions. I have Lulu next to me. How are you tonight? I'm awesome. I'm feeling good. We're having fun and uh, setting Hollywood on fire, baby. So tell me about your fight tonight. How was it? How was it in the ring? Uh, you know what? I had a lot of fun out there tonight. And um, it's all about getting active again and enjoying my craft, you know, and putting the work in and just humming from the heart. Tell me a little bit more about her. Uh, well, I mean, she's, I keep telling everyone that she's the best female fighter in the world. And I think tonight they got a little taste of just how great she really can be. 
and she's a world champion already, and she's going for her second world title, uh, probably in September, or if not early next year. I think she's showing the ring, right? She's showing. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more, how do you like to work here with 360 Production? You know, I love it, they give me a lot of support. Um, I smile at them and they smile back, so it's all hot. But um, it's been good, everything's been organized really well. They put on great shows and, um, you know, Tom Loughlin's promoting big champions, so there you go. I love it, you're looking great and your show was amazing. I know you're super tired right now. Can you say hi to Hollywood Life? All the people watching you over there. Hi, everybody watching, everybody tuning in. What's up, what's up? Um, keep checking the fights out, have some fun. My Instagram's Bang Bang Lulu, check it out. Bang Bang Lulu on Instagram, you can find her there. She's going to be a two-time world champion it's real soon. Thank you so much, guys, and let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. Uh, I'm not sure I heard I could hear what you said because it's loud here we're between rounds the main event it's been a great night at Avalon Hollywood and a great venue for boxing I'm really enjoying myself I'm here with my nephew Braxton oh, nice. my wife our friend Sophia Radio Rahim over here nice <laughs> so tell me what do you think about these amazing shows at 360 Productions I think they've done a great job, and, and uh, I thought all the fights were good. Um, you know, the uh, the commission is put on the uh, really helped out with the you know come through with those great California officials and everything. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next fight here. I love it. You should be there too, cause you're an amazing announcer. For me, it's a busman's <laughs> holiday just to come and relax and enjoy the fights, and a great crowd, great fans. So which one is your favorite fighter tonight? Uh, you know, I, I don't want to put that label of so many great fighters. We had, uh, what, a total of uh, 14 fighters in yeah. seven fights. So uh, I'm going to say I love them all. <laughs> Triple G. Pardon me? Triple G. Oh, oh, you mean my favorite fighter everywhere? Uh, so many great guys. Triple G right now is doing well. Anthony Joshua in Great Britain. Uh, uh, so many really, really hot fighters out there in, in the business today. I want to thank you so much for this interview. I know you were watching the show right now. Can you say hi to everybody watching you from Hollywood Life? Hey, I want to say hi to everybody watching Hollywood Life, right? And let's get ready for some more boxing. Thank you so much, and let's continue here with more Hollywood Life. Here in Hollywood, I'm with more celebrities. We find here a Radio Rahim next to me. How are you tonight? I am fantastic. The favorite thing in my life is good fights, and Tom Lawler has brought good fights here to Hollywood. I'm a Hollywood native. I'm enjoying my time here. There's nothing better than a good mix-up right here in the middle of the city. So tell me, what do you think about the fighters tonight? These guys are coming for bloodlust. Like, they are fighting like their families are here, their kids are here. <laughs> They're fighting for pride tonight, which is sometimes the best motivation. We see all these fights on television for money, and we see all these fights on television for positioning, but when you fight for pride, there's nothing more common human value than wanting to be the man on the night. And all these guys tonight want to be the man. I know you're a good critical. What do you think about these girls fighters? Fantastic! Look, look credit to Loeffler for putting girls on the car. Like, I have to admit, I work in this sport. It's a misogynist sport. Women don't get as many shots as they should. Loeffler had two great fights with four great women on the card, and they're well-deserved. These girls got a shot to be seen, and they performed. And that's all you can ask for from anybody. Well done. Well done. I want to see more women in the ring because they come to fight. Which one is the best fighter for you? The best fighter? It changes with every Saturday night. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so okay, so which ones you think are the best? I mean, you are very critical. Uh, um, typical. No, actually, okay. I'll give you the criteria for the best fighter, which is not the common accepted view. Most people want an undefeated record. Most people want a polished guy who doesn't get hit and just hits and not be hit. I want a guy who goes in there and fights, win or lose, puts it all on the line and leaves it all in the ring. To me, every Saturday night, whoever does that is the best fighter. Uh, you're good. You're a good one. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Where we can follow you? Thank you so much. I'm Radio Raheem. Just follow me around Hollywood. I'll be wherever the fights are, you'll find me. And you're welcome to stop and say hello. Hey, any fighter ever want to punch you for say something mean? I train six days a week because eventually I've been fortunate up until this point, but somebody's going to take a swing at me, and when they do, I'm going to have just enough reflexes to duck and run. Oh, you are good. Thank you so much. I continue your call your life. We continue here in Hollywood Life and I'm with girls and we're going to ask what they think about girls fight. How are you? What do you think about girls fight? I think it's amazing and I think it's very empowering and I think this generation should definitely support. Um, I think Alvina White she is up and coming and I, I wish her all the luck and I think she's going to win. So, uh, watch out. I love it. What do you think uh, but about the girls fight? Female fight, I think it's um, quite exciting. Yeah, yeah, my first time. What do you think about the girls' fight? That's why I'm here. Girl power. <laughs> do you like the girls' fight? I love it. We should definitely be supporting women, for sure. I love it. What do you think about the girls' fight? I think it's amazing what girls can do nowadays. Girl power. Hey, Shakira, what do you think about the girls' fight? <laughs> I think it's great. They should continue bringing more females to fight. It tells you Shakira and makes with America ready. <laughs> so, girl power! Okay, we continue here in Hollywood Live and this amazing 360 production, Tom Laffer. Let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. Continue here in Hollywood Life, here in 360 Production, next to Miller. How are you tonight? So good. Really so, good. Really good right now because I'm under an air conditioning vent and it feels fantastic. <laughs> so tell me, what do you think about this amazing show's box in the 360 Production? I think Tom is doing a great job. I mean, it's great to bring the fights to the city. Anytime I can come watch some fights and I don't have to get on a plane, I'm happy about it. And uh, this is a great place to scout and watch the up and coming fighters and see who's next. You know, you never know who's up and coming. Who's your favorite fighter? Right now or all, all time? Whatever you think, right now. <laughs> right now I like Triple G a lot. Like Triple, Triple G is my favorite. He's my pound for pound number one. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what the future holds for the middleweight division because there's a lot of confusion now. Uh, what do you think about Canelo and Triple, Triple G fighting next? It doesn't look like it's going to happen. I have to talk to Tom and get the inside stuff, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And honestly, everybody knows Gennady won the first fight, so it doesn't necessarily mean anything to him minus the money. But this, uh, I tell you, this Canelo Danny Jacobs fight is going to be interesting because I don't think that Danny is an easy fight. And I definitely don't think he's an easy fight for you if you're coming off of a, a, of a potential juicing and you have to fight for real. Danny's a tough customer. That's right. So anything coming new? Any projects? Anything coming new? Yeah, I got a few things coming. We got uh, I got to, I get to play the voice of Raphael for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out on uh, September 18th on Nickelodeon, and I got Ballers coming out on uh, August 12th. Can you say hi to everybody watching you over there, Hollywood Live? Hello, Hollywood Live. It's Omar Miller. Enjoy. <laughs> 